Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tech Bits. Today I want to be talking about these Wi-Fi 6 cards. I got three of the most popular brands. We got the Asus, costs about 100 bucks. TP-Link, about 65 And then the Wise Tiger, which is the white label, but the most popular white label, it seems. These are the easiest to find. These are the best that we can get right now. So what's the difference between all of them? And I'm going to tell you right now, this is this is how they go. I don't. I could show you all the charts all day, but it's pretty simple. All of these cards use the exact same chip. An Intel, I believe it's AX200 at uh, 160 megahertz. And yeah, it's they, they buy the chip from Intel. They slam it on their own boards. They put their own heat sinks and antennas on it. But basically, these are all the same thing. They just have Asus's, well, the rabbit ears really help. The rabbit ears definitely help. They're magnetized so they can stick to stuff, which is freaking good. The Wise Tiger, of course, only has these two antenna but the price is really low the price is really good i've been running these things for a while now and the speed is all the same on them it seems like the only way i can get a higher speed is if i use a different router and that has nothing to do with this hardware unfortunately the highest speed that i can get is 30 megabytes a second that's at line of sight that's with everything sitting next to it but i don't think we can blame these cards for that i'm pretty sure we have to blame the routers themselves but once again these are the most popular units that we can find uh, especially on Amazon and once again they're all about the exact same thing because they all have the Intel chip on the inside of them now about the only thing that's really going to set these things apart from the others is how well are they going to last the test of time because some systems there they, they perform really good and then some systems just can't take a bump. I mean, you drop them off a toolbox, you drop them off your table, your kids get a hold of it for 10 seconds, and Lord knows what they're going to do with it. So, for example, uh, when it comes to computers in the industry, we got the T series of Lenovo laptops that are really rugged, and we got the E series that are just really cheap. And I've had T series go into the luggage compartments of people while they're traveling to Mexico and back, and the E series do not live. They do not manage to make it. So, there's like you could still have the same quality of everything within the unit while the housing of the unit or components meant to directly connect like perhaps the pins or something but may, maybe the wise tiger will wear out quicker if it gets hotter as soon as things get hot and cold things expand and retract you ever leave something in the freezer before leave uh leave water in the freezer and, and uh, it breaks the bottle well that's kind of the idea of what happens with these things if we if we uh if we make them really warm and then cool them down especially if we do it really quickly but once again these are all the same things these are all of the same cpus slapped onto boards in some cases we'll probably have better quality control and i'd like to think that asus would have better quality control but if all of these manufacturers manage to ship to you a card that is two specifications i don't really think that any of these units are any different from each other except these ones have rabbit ears ultimately they're all the same thing just like with video cards you get the manufacturer nvidia ryzen whatever that sells the chip and then uh, pony gigabit whoever makes the board the silicon they slap the chip on there and then they're the ones that sell the cards you know msi um i'm sure i could go off all day saying different names but ultimately these seem to be about the same thing they all get about the same speed as long as i can get them in situations where they have line of sight to the switch that's important line of sight to the to the uh to the router i should say anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it for me net from that stack it's like and subscribe if you like this stuff it's always appreciated and if you're noticing some difference that i'm not seeing please let me know anyways have a good one folks and take care of each other will you